You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. What could 16 have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Oh, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as Sixteen says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. What are you up to? What am I up to? Who are you? My mum? I've been running traces on the Codex pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence, Maybe a few in the hands of collectors. Probably Templars. I'd send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, it seems so random. Dante Alighieri by way of Marco Polo. Seriously? Something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kubla Khan. This right, this must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought the two of them together, but I'll tell you what, I reckon we could find out. I don't think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. Yeah, you're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. How'd you get mixed up in all this? Most assassins, Desmond, are like you, yeah? They're born into the Brotherhood. Not me, though. Ah, uh, here we go. What? He asked. Anyway, I've always been a big fan of the unexplained. There's something exciting there, you know? A sense that life is more interesting, more mysterious than we've been raised to believe. So what, you just stumbled across the assassins? No. I found the Templars first, actually. Abstergo is a big company. It's too big, which means there were slip-ups. You know, like that mess they're having right now with the fluoride. Only I was tracking this stuff years ago. I must have been, what, 14, 15? You knew Abstergo was a Templar company? No, not at first. I just knew they were up to no good, and I figured maybe I could do something about it. So I started digging up everything I could on the company, posting stuff to news groups, trying to spread the word, looking for people who might have stories to tell. You must have gotten Abstergo's attention. Well, fortunately, I got Rebecca's first. Otherwise, I'd probably be at the bottom of a river. You're welcome. Yeah, she tried to warn me, told me I was messing with the wrong kind of people. And what did you do? I thought you were mental. But now you know better. Yeah, now I know you're just a bit mental. Long story short, I saved his ass. Multiple times? Should have dropped him and let Abstergo have their way. Listen to you, trying to be all badass. So what happened? I have a gift, Desmond. I have a gift for seeing things, making connections. Like your regal vision, you know? Only useful. We offered him a place with us. Yes, you did, yeah. The alternative? A life on the run from the most powerful organization on the planet. I decided to prolong my life. I'm eccentric like that, so I signed up been doing research and analysis for them ever since. Best part is, I love it. What's this for? I'm keeping tabs on the other teams. Other teams? The Templars have been hunting down the pieces of Eden using the map they got from you at Abstergo. Luckily, Lucius provided us with a copy as well, allowing
allowing us to pursue them. And how's that working out? So far, so good. If they find even one of those pieces, we're gonna have problems. Oh, you're picking up on that, are you? That is why we're training you. Once you've acquired the necessary skills, we'll be able to send you into the field. And what about you? Why aren't you out there? I'm not out there, because my expertise lies in other areas. And to be honest, I prefer it that way. But make no mistake, Desmond. I'm an assassin through and through. I've killed before. I expect to kill again. It's just that I prefer not to. Hey, nice work today. You're a natural. Thanks. It's definitely getting easier. I gotta say, after all the crap I went through at Abstergo, it's nice to be with the good guys. Good guys? Let's not get carried away. What's that supposed to mean? In case you've forgotten, Rebecca, we're assassins. I can look it up for you if you like. Basically, it means we assassinate people. Only when we have to. It's a choice. You're choosing to kill. I haven't killed anyone. No, not yet. But what do you think all this is for, eh? You think Lucy's giving you Ezio's abilities so you can build schools in South America and deliver rice to starving Indonesians? What are you, Desmond, a vegan? You'd be the first vegan assassin in history. Look, it's not ideal. And taking a life is never easy. But sometimes, there's no other way. Sometimes, Desmond, people have to die for things to change. She's got a point. But don't fool yourself into thinking you have no say. I mean, isn't that what we're all about here? Safeguarding free will? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to make it into a whole big thing. That's cool. So, how's she treating you? The translation software is still a bit laggy. You're probably catching the odd bit of Italian. Sorry about that. No worries. Abstergo's machine wasn't perfect either. And the subtitles? Definitely a big plus.